And we said, Oh Adam, live in the garden. The garden. Live there, Adam. Live there, you and your wife. And eat from the garden anywhere you desire. Go ahead, Adam. Big, spacious, Jenna, the garden. Go ahead, eat everywhere, anywhere you want. Beautiful place. But just don't go near this tree. You too. Don't go near that tree. And become of the thorium, the evil ones. Now, brothers and sisters, I'm going to ask you a question before I sit down. If you think you were in that garden, you, brother, and your wife, and by, the, and by the way, that verse teaches us that Allah created Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve. If you were in that garden, brother and you, sister, garden now, imagine anywhere you want. And if Allah told you, don't go near that tree, but you can have everything else in the garden, how many, think, how many of you think you would have resisted and not gone near the tree? Be honest, raise your hand. If you don't think that you would go near, you would go near the tree, raise your hand. Raise them up, come on, raise them up. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, there are a handful of people. Imam, your hand up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, 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 wait. We can we can find out, hey, man. We can we can test it. We can find out. The same Allah who said don't approach that tree is the same Allah saying don't go near Zina. Don't eat rabbi. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't cheat. Be honest. Tell the truth. The question is, do we obey all the laws of Allah now? Or oh, there's a few more now, yes, before, just don't go near the tree, but now there's a few more. So brothers and sisters, I say this to you. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest. If the Muslims continue to suffer around the earth, I'm still, inshallah, going to believe in this book 100%. And no matter what happens, I have always made a pledge to myself that if it ever happens, anywhere on this earth, I feel it. I feel so confident in this Islam. I feel so confident that if every Muslim on this earth would die except one, I believe that that Muslim would multiply himself or herself and go out there with the message of La ilaha illallah and start all over again and populate the earth all over again. I feel so confident that if there was only one, just one, that Muslim would migrate to Mecca and they would uphold the Kaaba and they would talk to somebody and try to convince them that Islam is right. But there's nobody else, no other Muslims. You're the only one left, so what? And you know what gives me the confidence? Something that the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I'm finished. I'm almost finished. I've said it, I repeat it myself, and I'll say it again because to me it represents what we're talking about tonight, brothers and sisters. We need a shot of confidence. A man came to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, uh, My brother's stomach is ailing. The Prophet said, give him honey. It didn't work. 
Prophet said, give him honey, it didn't work the second time. Give him honey, it didn't work the third time. And when the Prophet said, I swear by Allah, the stomach of your brother lies. And Allah speaks the truth. Give him honey. He gave him honey. And the man was cured. The lesson there, brothers and sisters, is that our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had the confidence in the words of Allah the Almighty that honey is a shifa, honey is a healing. So now I close with this profound hadith of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم. Look, look, the birds go out, their stomachs are empty, and they come back, and their bellies are full. What is the lesson? The birds didn't sit home. They trusted Allah. But that trust doesn't make them, that trust doesn't make them sit down. No, the trust make them go out and to look. And brothers and sisters, I say this to you. Imam Abdullah Qum, it is my opinion, Imam that the Muslims around the world from my experience from my travels are looking to the Muslims in the United States and Canada waiting for us to see what we're going to do Imam I don't think we should wait anymore I think right now the only thing that's missing is real confidence in ourselves and how do we get it? We get it, one, to realize, brothers and sisters, that it's not me. It's not us. It's the one who stands behind us, in front of us. It's Allah, the Almighty. And when we know who Allah is, make our young children know who Allah is. I'm saying these young children, with the responsibility of these mothers, mothers, you want to do something? Instill in those babies the knowledge of Allah. Make them know Allah. Make them little girls and make them little boys. Make them know Allah. If they know nothing else, make them know Allah. Number two, let them know the greatness of our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If our young children can sing the latest rap. You'd be surprised. Ask them. So, so uh, Ahmed, what's the latest rap? Can, can you sing it?